It's rainy and cold today, and I think it's safe to say fall is finally here. As we approach the season of gratitude and our upcoming week-long break, I want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you. This period of hybrid learning far exceeded our hopes and expectations, and I appreciate everyone's flexibility as we pivoted back to distance learning this week. It goes without saying that we are living through very difficult times, but in many ways, it can be the challenges that we face that make us more appreciative of the people and the connections that help us stay strong and hopeful. Today, I wanna offer thanks to all the people in our community for all they've done to make the challenging days easier in one way or another. Parents, thank you for supporting your daughters emotionally. They have relied on you to persevere through these difficult months, and we greatly appreciate your partnership and trust. Thank you for closely following our guidelines, everything from sticking to our testing schedule to taking the community agreement to heart to following our drop-off procedures. Thank you to the CSA for planning fun ways for the students to connect while staying safe, for creating meaningful parent education opportunities, and for finding ways to bring our community together. Thank you also for the gratitude you've shared with me and with our employees. In my 10 years as head, I've never heard so much support from so many parents. Please know that your words are heard and deeply appreciated by all of us. I also want to take a moment to thank my colleagues on campus who've worked harder than they imagined possible to keep our students and employees safe, to sustain relationships within our close community, and to deliver a program that inspires. I want to thank our teachers, both on and off campus, who've reimagined how to teach several times now, from in-person to distance to hybrid and back to distance and continue to deliver a curriculum that is engaging and inspiring. I want to thank our maintenance staff for the incredible work they've done to reconfigure classrooms and outdoor spaces, to build and stock hand washing stations, to clean and sanitize surfaces, to remeasure the space between desks each night, and to redraw the grid on the circle each morning. Everything they have done is what allowed us to return safely to campus. I want to thank our health services team for planning and delivering the essential protocols and systems needed to protect our community's health. They manage regular communications and scheduled testing for employees and seven grades of students and families each week. I want to thank our tech and academic technology departments for their tireless and resourceful work reconfiguring every classroom for hybrid learning and for providing the learning platforms that made it possible. I want to thank my colleagues who are dedicating themselves to anti-racist education, deepening our commitment to DEI, becoming allies for our BIPOC community members, and addressing systemic racism in our community. I want to thank our food service department for providing us healthy and delicious lunches every day in a safe and distance manner. It was a vision to see all of those brown bags lined up each morning and then see our community enjoying their lunches around the circle. I want to thank our athletics department for leading training and conditioning in ways that are fun, safe, and inspiring for our student athletes. They immediately boosted the mental and physical health of our student athletes. I want to thank our library staff for continuing to support our students and faculty and for bringing the love of reading outdoors. The library was the same hub of intellectual activity and laughter on the circle that it was inside the student center. I want to thank our visual and performing arts department for their creativity and imagination as we have faced challenges and regulations we never expected. You have found remarkable ways to bring joy and engagement to our community. I want to thank our Born Lab team 
for continuing to inspire maker projects and for supporting the robotics team, which has had to go fully virtual. I want to thank our admissions department and their student ambassadors for reimagining how to share the joy of a Castilea education without being able to invite prospective students and families onto campus. I want to thank our counseling and college counseling departments for their steadfast support of our students during these challenging times. I want to thank our other teams on campus, our business office, finance and operations, advancement and communications for successfully advancing the mission of the school under entirely new conditions and constraints. I also want to thank our learning specialist and my colleagues in institutional research and the registrar's office for helping our students and teachers prepare for and thrive in hybrid and distance learning. I want to thank our leadership and global education colleagues for sustaining their important work even with the vast limitations placed on their programming. This year, your programming is more important than ever as our students seek answers about the impacts of this pandemic. I want to thank our students for following our safety guidelines and for reminding us on a daily basis why we love our jobs so much. You have asked excellent questions and inspired us to work to help you find the truest answers we can. And I want to thank my leadership team, class deans, and department heads for supporting me and all of our employees during these challenging times. I wish all of you a happy holiday season, whether you are celebrating Diwali, Thanksgiving, or simply the arrival of fall. Take good care of yourselves and your families. I look forward to our community being back together again on Zoom after the break. Take care.